Hi folks, so we are uh, view reviewing these uh, battery cells that we purchased recently from a supplier in China. Uh, the company in question is uh, Shenzhen Luyan Technology, if that's the correct pronunciation. Uh, the lady that we deal with is Amy Wan, or Amy Wan, uh, very well known on the forums, very uh, interactive and uh, participating in, on quite a number of threads, so uh, it, that's always a good thing if, if a seller is willing to uh, be on one of the major forums and this is probably the uh, busiest forum in terms of building your own life pf 4 battery banks. So the cells were packaged uh, pretty well in fact uh, uh, this was the packaging so as you can see a uh, very good padding cells were placed in there uh, good solid chunks of foam, uh, double boxed, box within a box, so uh, very well packaged. Uh, there was absolutely no damage. All of the cells were uh, pristine and um, no dents, uh, no bulges, no scratches, no leakage or anything like that. Everything was absolutely fine. Um, the the cells have QR codes. Uh, this, if this seems obvious to somebody that they would. Uh, we have purchased cells from other suppliers that had no QR codes or they were hidden by some sort of repackaging on the top here. Uh, so with these cells you can see very clearly uh, these barcodes. Um, you can uh, find out more about the cells from those barcodes. So the seller has been uh, quite careful to make sure that we had this way of identifying uh, what the cells are and where they come from. These were purchased from EVE, a company called EVE, and they are rated at 280 amp hours. So let's talk about uh, the terminals for a bit now. I've taken the, uh, the positive cable off and the balance lead off. So you can see this is the, the more modern way of, of uh, uh, doing these terminals with a laser welded stud. Um, you can apply a very high torque and interestingly recently on the forums there was quite a lot of discussion around the tiny surface area so your um, cable lug and in this case here the bus bars here uh, sit on this tiny surface area uh, clamped down with a 10 millimeter thread um, with uh, some of these nuts here. Uh, these are the nuts that are supplied, uh, stainless steel. And uh, the suggestion from the seller was to torque them to 10 Newton meters, which is quite a lot of pressure. And there was concern from several members that the torque was higher than what is mostly rated for uh, six millimeter studs. Anyway, a tiny surface area, but it was absolutely fine. We, we ran this uh, bank at 160 amps for uh, nearly two hours and uh, measured using uh, various temperature probes. Uh, we had one on this terminal, uh, one on that terminal, and one that we floated around checking and, and checked the temperature of uh, all of these um, terminals over a period of two hours and uh, they never really went up. All of the cells increased in temperature obviously with such a high rate of discharge but there weren't any problems. So that solved a question that a lot of forum members had asked which is you know this tiny surface area is that of concern and the simple answer is no it is not of concern. So that's great. Um, the cells tested out at uh, individually at about 290 amp hours. So we were very pleased with that result because previously we had bought 300 amp hour cells that tested out at uh, less than 290. So about a 3%, 5% uh, drop. Um, <clears throat> the, um, so these exceeded capacity. Uh, we top balanced them, we uh, um, then tested as a complete battery bank with a BMS. You can see we've attached a 200 amp uh, DALI smart BMS to it. And uh, we ran that test that I spoke about when we uh, measured the temperature. And that came out at just over 280 amp hours. So we were pleased with the result. That was the, the high discharge test, uh, which almost always yields lower than a low discharge test. So the, the uh, 
the stud height on this terminal is 10.6 millimeters. Uh, if I have one criticism of the battery, it is that this is too short. Um, and one of the reasons why I say it is too short is that once you have actually put on your lug, so let's say you put on a lug and then you put on your balance lead, your lug for your balance lead, and then you put a tighten it down or put something else on there, uh, you've got just enough space to actually put the nut down onto there. And uh, you tighten this at, at a high enough torque that it puts a lot of pressure on this lug. You can see that this is uh, deformed somewhat because of the pressure that is placed on that. On some of the other cells with, with uh, longer threads, uh, we torque this down to get the maximum uh, torque on this and, and the maximum surface area connecting it directly to the terminal and then put the lug on with a second nut. It uh, just makes it easier. So I would have liked to have seen 16 millimeter long studs rather than 10 millimeter studs. Uh, that's the only criticism that I have with this. In terms of <clears throat> the bus bars, these are the bus bars that uh, come with the cells. Uh, Amy supplies four bus bars which is enough to uh, build because you only need three to build the battery into series but this is not enough to top balance the cells. Uh, luckily it doesn't matter for us because we use other leads for the top balancing but if you are relying on these bus bars to top balance which is essential that you do top balance then you will need more bus bars so remember to speak to Amy about that. Uh, you'll, you'll, um, you can make your own, but it's just easier to use these. These are copper inside and, and plated, so they uh, will not corrode or oxidize uh, that quickly. So that's a very good thing. So I quite like that about them. Uh, as I mentioned, we measured the temperature on, on all these terminals and on the bus bars themselves. So the surface area that you get with, or the cross section that you get with this is uh, just under 38 millimeters squared. Uh, so it's it's about 1.9 by 19.8 millimeters, so just just under 40, I suppose, 40 millimeters squared. Uh, so qu I'm not sure what the capacity of that is, but it handled the 160 amps uh, really easily. You could have gone up a bit more, and it would still have been fine. Um, so that's the terminals. We set the. Uh, the, the BMS settings were um, set at uh, a high voltage disconnect of 3.65. Uh, the BMS comes with a default of 3.75, which is just too high for us, uh, too high to be of comfort. So we changed it to 3.65 or sometimes even 3.6. Um, and the low voltage disconnect, which was really important for this test because obviously the low voltage is going to uh, change your overall capacity somewhat. We set that from whatever the factory settings, which is I think a 2.3 or 2.2. Anyway, we changed it to 2.5. So the overall voltage would be a maximum of 10 volts. Uh, so, so basically 10 volts would be the sorry the minimum voltage of this battery and the maximum voltage would be um, uh, 14.6 but really in reality uh, between the two knees um, you, you're going from about 3.3 uh, to 2.9 and that's where most of your power is um, <clears throat> so I did two uh, full battery capacity tests one at a high C rate of 100 and 60 amps and one of a low C rate of about 30 amps. The low C rate uh, came out at about 287 amp hours, which we were pleased with, close on 288 amp hours. And the, uh, the high C, the high discharge rate came out at just over 280 amp hours. So both of them uh, performed according to the stated capacity and better than the stated capacity. So um, we've clamped these cells uh, using just uh, six millimeter bars, uh, not much compression. Uh, but we've found that there's uh, just an average amount of expansion of the cells when they 
uh, charge fully and also, also when they discharge rapidly. Uh, so, so not too much pressure, so the, the cells seem to be good. We found in the past that if, if you have excessive bulging, uh, invariably it means that there's a problem with a cell or with all of the cells with the manufacturing process. And that's why it's important to buy good cells from reputable manufacturers. And Eve is a good reputable manufacturer. So all in all, uh, we're pleased with these cells. We would recommend them. Uh, they, as I said, they might be slightly more expensive than some of the others, but uh, the comfort is that you're dealing with somebody who's active on the forums, is accountable on the forums, and uh, uh, looks after her reputation, uh, communicates quite well, and uh, is quite proactive. So we would not hesitate to recommend the, the seller and these particular cells.